We are happy during this Mass today to offer our prayers of thanksgiving and blessing upon our brothers in the priesthood who are celebrating special anniversaries of priesthood ordination this year, uh, namely Father Gabriel Mian, 60 years, Benedict and Father Francis Forster, 55 years, Benedict and Father Arthur Pendleton, 55 years, Friars Minor Father Louis Canino, 50 years, Father Michael Cotter, 25 years. And we also are offering our prayers of thanksgiving and also blessing upon two other priests who just in the last couple of weeks informed me that uh, they desire to retire from their responsibilities as pastor this year. So their names did not get into the program. My apologies to them, but it's a recent occurrence. Father Frank O'Rourke, 44 years. Father Richard Benonis, 61 years. We are praying in this Mass, therefore, that God continue to shower and bestow his blessings upon all of them. And in this Mass, as you might have told, been able to tell by the opening prayer, our readings and prayers are taken from the Mass for priests. The anniversary of a priesthood ordination is always celebrated with sentiments of gratitude to the Lord. Gratitude for the opportunity to serve, for being called to serve, and gratitude for being called to enter so profoundly, so intimately into communion with Christ the High Priest, to be a ministerial participant in his eternal holy priesthood. Gratitude, therefore, with all of that in place to serve the salvation of our brothers and sisters by offering them the, the, the sacraments, by offering them the gospel teaching, and by shepherding them with love and with courage, as the Good Shepherd would. Serving the salvation of our brothers and sisters, uh, we all know, my brothers, and it is good to be reminded at a time like this of the important work in which we are involved that the most important work on the face of the earth is definitely the work of salvation. And God has consecrated us for this most important work to which he has called us. Hands are anointed for offering sacrifice to God and sanctifying the Christian people as we hear during our mass of ordination so that in sanctifying the people of God and offering the sacrifice of Christ and the sacrifices of the people of God united to his sacrifice, we help them to respond to God's graces and that they might achieve their salvation, the work of salvation. A very beautiful vocation. And uh, the faithful realize this, and that's why as we've been hearing over the last more than a year, uh, they demand holiness from their priests because they realize the beauty of the vocation and the intimate intimacy and love of Christ that is present in that vocation. And an anniversary of ordination is not only an occasion for gratitude, but involved in that gratitude is also an opportunity to think back on the amazing journey that we've had with God over the years since the, uh, the ordination mass, all beginning from that discernment that takes place in accepting a call to the priesthood, many times initiated by something as simple as someone saying, I think you have a vocation to the priesthood. And many times, that's the idea that gets planted and starts the wheels turning and the mind thinking, maybe someone sees something in me that I do not yet see. And it begins a process of discernment. And then in the months and the years that follow that initial offer, which ultimately is coming from God, 
in those months and years that follow, reflecting on all of the events and circumstances in our lives, all of the people and places that have been placed in our lives, eventually working through all of that and seeing God's hand at work in everything that has been happening up to us, uh, uh, to us to that point, eventually coming to the conviction that God indeed has chosen you for this vocation. That God indeed has chosen you, and we heard that word intentionally chosen in the opening prayer of the Mass. Oh God, bless those whom you have chosen for the special ministry of sanctification. God has chosen you, giving you the grace of totally dedicating yourself to God, giving you the grace of dedicating, dedicating yourself totally to the service of his church and his people, and giving you the grace of celibacy for the sake of the kingdom. Very beautiful, definite grace that is not offered to all but those whom he has chosen for the office of priest. And that conviction, as it's been growing from the first offer through the reflection on people, circumstances, places, and events, can only lead and only led to one response. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. And the discernment, we know, doesn't stop there, even after we've arrived at that conviction because even through the years of one's service, the experience of God's special affection that you have been chosen continues to mature, and that special affection continues to sustain the vocation, bringing us to events like this, anniversary events, to reflect back and look over the whole course and say, God has been good. God is good. God has been very good to me. St. Paul writes in his letter to the Thessalonians, which we just heard our seminarian proclaim to us, he writes there of his affection for the Thessalonians. And where does that affection for service to the people of God come from, but has to come originally from that conviction he had in his heart that he was chosen, that he was chosen God in his love, had chosen him for this ministry, and that affection that he experienced from the Lord God Almighty, then flooding his heart, was able to impel him in love to service of his brothers and sisters. So our prayers for our jubilarians and our retirees come also this day with a sense and sentiments of gratitude to God for their witness of fidelity to their vocations and also gratitude to God for the special affection and the goodness that he has shown to each one of us, his priests, whom he has chosen and gifted and graced for this special vocation of service. <laughs>